Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 358. That is, what is error handling testing? Let me answer. So what is error handling testing? Error handling testing is performed on the application to check whether the application is capable of handling the probable errors. Okay, as you can understand, what is error handling testing from the statement itself, right? I don't have to explicitly explain you, okay? It's performed on the application. Whatever the application that you are testing, okay? Error handling testing is also performed on that application to see or check whether the application is capable of handling the probable errors. How the application is handling the errors if you are checking or testing, that is called as error handling testing. In a proper way, the application should be able to handle the errors okay when the user gives some invalid input okay so application should give you a proper error message warning message or some error message based on the situations and uh, circumstances okay this kind of error handling testing is not just done by software testers but also done by the developers guys at the code level also okay whether the code is uh, capable enough in handling the invalid inputs or not okay developers have to check that okay that is also part of the error handling testing Testers also from using the visual graphical user interface of the software, testers will try to input some invalid inputs into the software and see whether the application is giving. When you enter invalid email address, is application giving a proper warning message saying that this is invalid email address or not, okay? Uh, if you're trying to create a duplicate uh, account uh, having the same email address, are you getting a proper error message or not? You see some situations you will get warning messages, some situations you will get error messages, okay? So uh, all these kind of situations uh, need to be handled by the application. Application is good only when it can handle the errors. If just because the user is inputting some invalid inputs or uh, a uh, user is using the application in, in, uh, in a way that generally people don't use, such kind of circumstances will come when the application may not be able to react properly and may go into some errors and may fail there, okay? So you will get error pages and all. For example, instead of getting a proper error message, if you are getting an error page, that's not a good thing, right? So the application is whether the application is able to, okay, is able to handle the probable errors by, uh, by giving proper proper things or not, okay? Pro in a proper way or not, okay? Is application capable of handling the prob probable errors, possible errors in the uh, application while the user is using the application or something is known as error handling testing, okay? so. So for that, developers have to implement error handling mechanism, guys, okay? So for example, if I'm entering some invalid in, in, email address, okay, how the uh, error will come, right? Definitely, the it should be handled, okay? So it should application should not take such kind of invalid inputs and uh, should give a proper warning message, okay? So exception handling mechanism should be implemented uh, so that the application program will not stop from running, okay? So all those stiff, uh, all those stuff like error handling mechanism, how the error has to be handled, whether warning message has to be displayed or whether error has to be displayed and uh, what different type of invalid inputs, uh, exception handling mechanism need to be implemented. Uh, for, for example, guys, there is a calculator and you are dividing a number by zero. What the calculator has to do? If, if there is a calculator software and if you are trying to divide a number by zero, what the calculator software should do? It should give you a proper error message. That is possible only if you implement exception handling, okay? So developers and testers are required for performing exception handling because at the code level also, error handling mechanism has to be implemented. Extra code has to be written inside the existing program of the application to handle these uh, errors and to uh, create the exception handling mechanism to handle the inputs, invalid inputs from the users, okay? So here, the main intention of the exception handling testing is, uh, these are three activities generally done by the developers and testers, guys. First, expect, okay? Expect uh, where exactly the application may not be able to handle the probable errors, okay? Uh, for example, when you go to a form and see an email address field, you will immediately expect that if I give invalid input, uh, invalid input like invalid email address uh, with the uh, invalid syntax of the email, whether the application is able to, okay, handle it or not, okay? Give a proper error message to me or not, or proper warning message or not. Like that, we have to expect it. And after that, we have to try that out, okay? At the code level or at the UI level, we have to find it out. Developers will do that at the code level. Testers will do at the UI or graphical user interface level. And we have to find the problem. Once the problem is found, the problem has to be fixed, right? So developers have to fix the problem. 
okay they have to implement either error handling mechanism or exception handling uh, to overcome that invalid inputs so hope guys you understood what is error handling uh, testing in this session testing whether the application is capable enough uh, of handling the probable errors is known as error handling testing in simple terms so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye